Michael Sykes TV. Disappointing day. More ways than one. Player injured. Uh, we'll get on about that a bit later on it, show, sure. But again, looking at starting 11. No changes from the Bristol Rovers game, but it was complete chalk and cheese performance, if I'm being honest. Uh, wow, so disappointing. But we'll get into it. So we're going to be going like uh, front team lineups on about with Donovan Pines and probably touch on the Manchester United game coming up. Our players got the, their mindset on that for some reason. We didn't really test fair keeper out. I don't think fair keeper really made a decent save from us. So much frustration, but yeah, we'll get into it. So starting 11, like I said, which, which squad on that? Uh, you look on bench, I went on Radio Sheffield before the game, and I'm thinking, wow, we've got Umfries, we've got Jallo, we've got Max Waters, three attackers on there, Josh Benson. So bench were looking somewhat, somewhat decent. Coming to, like I said, from starting 11, no change from Bristol Rovers game, which I didn't really expect to be, to be fair, after we started against Bristol Rovers in such fashion that we did. I'm thinking we can take this into Stevenage, knowing full well what they're going to be playing like. You know, long ball, we're going to reach on attack, we're going to be set pieces, and it kind of worked, and we weren't wise to it. So again, when you, when you look when you look there at starting 11, you know, you can read your sense there, you can go all the way down it, you're thinking, yeah, that's fine. Great to see Jello on bench, Humphreys, Max Waters, attacking options, yeah, got that covered then. Looking in midfield, yeah, you got Josh Benson, you got Lofthouse, you got O'Keefe, you're thinking, yeah, do you know what? It's not a bad bench fat. We can fetch on and freshen up. And now we're going to say three, well, I did say three, one, balance a win. I got three goals, right? But yeah, we're far from, uh, far from being on right, right score and right, right side. So that was the start, you know, starting 11. First day, if I'm being honest, Apart from just before half time when um, Corner came in and he got headed off at line, I think we we're like cancelling one another out. It was scrappy, both teams nullifying one another out. It wasn't great, but did it warrant the amount of changes and changing formation as well? That, that was a big call. It's, it's worked in past, but it's been done, but did it? Required to be as drastic and change formation. Bearing in mind we were still in game. I couldn't stand if we were, you know, a couple of goals down or something, but yeah, a bit weird. But going back to the first half, referee, how we can give a free kick for a bouncer player sitting on a ball to Barnsley I don't know I don't, I don't get that and I've, I've watched it back and I've heard commentary I think it was Eddie Moses at the time I went if that's going to be the case then all players are going to be sat on ball waiting for a free kick because we've gone over sat on ball and it's a free kick to us and to be fair I understand where Stevens were coming from because I'd have been irate if that had been the other way around so a referee can get a free kick for that which is baffling to say at least. But <laughs> you know, I even did a get a booking. You know, I didn't even get a booking for this. EFL League One, no joke. So Donovan Pine's elbow, you know, uh challenge, and you look at position at referee. If you've seen it on socials, have a look at position at referee. Looking straight at it, looking straight at it, yeah, not even a free kick, not even a booking, it was unbelievable, uh, lad, obviously got bandaged up, but half time, you know, he couldn't see after his left eye, stitches, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get the standard referee and me and not just like, um, before people start saying, no, you're only saying it because you like lost and 
I'm I'm on a bat for standard refereeing and EFL is an all is a joke if I'm being and again other fans from other clubs watching this you can probably relate to it let us know your comments about it but uh, you cannot give a free kick let alone for me that should have been red card elbow leading into the face and you look at Donovan here for me all day long I'm just speechless because that for me it could be if it had been a bit lower it could have been, you know it could it, oh, I'm honest just baffling just baffling but you just look at it it's not like I actually done any, I'm hoping no damage to his eye socket don't like that I'm sure he's going to be out for a while getting back to the game in general second half Sloppy goals, sloppy amateur goals concede, set pieces, you know, free kicks, throw-ins, quick throw-ins, switching off, not being on it, completely, it's like we've gone back to last season, Got like we've gone back to last season, and I think, I think everybody needs to blame in this, um, you know, players need to have a look at the sends, the unacceptable performance, feel sorry for fans, just shorter a thousand, made the journey, long journey, just, just under a thousand. Um, Daryl, like I say, love the bloke, he's made some very bold and brave moves in the past. But again, the substitution, the change of formation at half time, if it came out, I know one more warranted be obviously Pines. But could you have like brought O'Keefe on? I know he said it. He, he had O'Keefe and Jallo in his mind for later on because of Blink Cutwell, which is fine. In fact, what case and couldn't you have switched like Cotter out to left wing back, moved early into central defence and bring O'Keefe on that way and still keep a free at back rather than go four? And it didn't really want it. It, it just tends to like changes all off. Uh, Jallo came on. Again, for me, if I'm trying to pick out any positives from this game, it's seen Jallo come back on pitch, and for me, man at match because he did did actually try running the defence. He did actually try running and cutting and getting balls in. Um, I've seen some things on about certain players. Oh, he's gone missing and missing over on socials. I don't think you can highlight. Just one particular person out, one particular player, sorry. You look at it straight across the board, and I think if Jallo wanted to come on and done out, you'd have been very hard pressed and very it'd been very, very difficult to have picked a man of a match out for Barnsley. I think the people of the match, it'd have been the fans for making the long journey. In my opinion. In my opinion, paying our day money to go down and pay for travel and pay for food, because we'll be going to the Tuesday game against Manchester United. You know, I'm I'm looking on on, on that performance. Had players had one eye on it. I'd like to think that they had not, because he got touched on uh, previous. You know, to build up. You know. Looking at uh, the big game at you know at Carabao Cup, Manchester United, Old Trafford, Theatre of Dreams, bread and butter is. It's a great day out for fans. It'll be an experience for a lot of these players playing at Old Trafford, big stage. Not a problem with that. But then, if your mind's elsewhere and you're coming into a game and you put a performance like that in, it it, it don't wish well. Not with me anyway. And I should, I should imagine not a lot of uh, fans what's paid out a lot of good money. I'd earn money. Disappointing day, you know. Straight across the board. And people made issues at Pink Kit and this over and certain things coming on saying, oh, it's great to see that Barnes are players are playing in pink and blah, blah, blah. It'd be great to see Barnes are winning games. I'm not bothered about colour at kit now. 
I'm not a, a fan of it, if I'm being honest. But you can't put that down to performance. That's the individuals in the shirts. It's red faces in the pink shirts. We should be questioning after an embarrassing performance. Cross board. Cross board. Like I say, it's not a, a an individual pick out a player name and shame. You've got to look at it collectively. From back to front. Josh Benson gained some more minutes. Great to see. He looks hungry. He looks up for it as well, which is great. Looks like a new signing. Jallo coming on, having, you know, been out since pre-season knock. So again, that's another uh, positive. But apart from that, you look at result and you look at performance, far from it. No doubt we'll get back to dressing rooms, you know, we'll have a look and reassess on Monday, get built up for Manchester United. And then it's back to the gritty back in league. But yeah, great day out. It's going to be on Tuesday for a lot of people, but beyond an end all, there's no excuse for that performance. Slight touch on Manchester United as well. Um, is it going to be a big shake-up? I very much doubt it, but you never know. Is he going to go with a strong 11? They probably will have to. The best 11 he can. But again, you don't want to be picking up knocks. What's going to affect potentially is, you know, uh, his, his, his position, his, his league form. Uh, we've got players back. People are saying, would you be starting Jallo up front against, you know, Man U? Personally, I would. Yeah, I, I would. I'd give Jallo a, a run out. Um, again, you don't want to burn him out, but give him a taste of, you know, it's, and you know, it's Manchester United at the end of the day. It's like Liverpool, you know, Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, great grounds, great stadiums. You, you're going to want to sample the atmosphere and the build up to it and everything. So, yeah, what you, you, you know, I totally understand that. What's the score going to be? Not if we come away, we win at, you know, win on penalties. I'll take that all day long. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll take that all day long. Win on penalties at Manuel. But again, we're going to have to book his ideas up. We're going to be playing like that against uh, a side like Manuel, no matter what side we put out for second, you know, third team, under 21s, whatever. They're still going to be a class outfit and a class opposition to be coming up against. We all know that. So, yeah, that, them's my thoughts on the, the game against Stevenage. It'd be interesting to know your thoughts as well. Uh, do you think that it was a red card for, you know, what happened to Pines? Are you pleased to see Jallo back in his red shirt? Is this a blip? What do you think of a kit? A lot of things you can discuss and fire away in comments. I will answer, you know, not a problem. I will answer comments back. Um, and again, I haven't been disrespectful. It's all about being respectful, which I think I have been. I've been, you know, called it for what it has been, the game. You've got to call it for what it is, which a lot of people have. And they've been respectful about it. Again, I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned from this. I think there's a lot of people who need to sit down and reassess and look at the sense on that on performance on that day. All being well, we can learn from it. It makes us stronger for it. And we can move on from it. So again, still early season, still early doers. A blip, let's get over it, learn from it, move on. Uh, not the best of weekends. Enjoy what weekend you've got left. Please like, subscribe and share. You always do. One thing left to say, you reds. <laughs>